Thanks for checking out this no spoilers review for the show Chernobyl on HBO. Yes, if you have HBO, this is the only way to get this show. It's not available on anything but HBO and HBO Go. Uh, so it, at this point, it's their on demand and the HBO Go app because uh, it's it was a mini series. It was only five episodes, I believe it was just five five episodes. And uh, yeah, let's talk about it a little bit. So this was heavy. This was a heavy show. If you have a problem with real life horror. And I'm doing this as like a horror review, but it's not horror in the sense that a lot of people think of it of like a stalking killer or like some sort of creature or something. This is real life horror. Like this happened and sometimes that's a little too much to handle for some people. I know for me, um, I have to be in the right mood to watch a movie or a, a movie that has subject like this or a show like this where it's based in reality because it's not like things that you can watch and you'd be like, yeah, you know, this is all fictional. It's easy to, to handle because I know it's not real. This stuff happened. Now, that said, you don't really know how much is actually exaggerated because a lot of the times with shows, you know, they need to make it more interesting. They need to make it more engaging. So there will be things that they change just to make it more interesting, to make it more engaging for the audience. So I'm sure there were some things they had to do with this. They did actually say some of the things at the very end of the film. Like they kind of took a group of people and um, put them together and made them one character in the show as opposed to an entire grouping of people in reality uh, who, you know, were those people. Um, and that goes to the acting. The acting in this show was very good. I can't think of a single actor that I saw and was just like, oh, that's that's bad acting. They were all at least like solid to great. And there was a lot of there were a lot of very good performances in this. I can't call all of them out because it would take forever. But I think the one that shines the most is the main character who is played by um, Jared Harris, who how about Jared Harris having a really good uh, year, I guess. You know, he uh, with his great role in Chernobyl where he shows uh a hell of a, a good acting style and, and pretty solid range to his really great performance. And I think even better performance, because I think he had more to play with and more range to, to be able to show with the character uh, for the show, the terror that was on AMC, which I did a review for the terror. You can go ahead and check that out on this channel. Um, if you liked Jared Harris and Chernobyl, then you should definitely see the terror because Jared, uh, Jared Harris in the terror is even better than Jared Harris in Chernobyl. Cause like I said, um, he was given a lot more material to work with a lot more range to be able to show. So just phenomenal. I have so much respect for that guy. His acting is spot on amazing. So the material of this, obviously, you know, I'm saying this is a no, tr no spoilers review, but if you know about Chernobyl, then, you know, there's a big thing that's spoiled for you up front, but they start with that in the very beginning. And then it's kind of like the fallout and trying to figure everything out after that, like what happened, what went wrong, you know, what, who's to blame, all this type of stuff. And then they kind of circle it all the way around in the very end to kind of take a look back and, you know, like clear some things up basically. Now this show has caused a lot of, um, hype. A lot of people really like this show. A lot of people have been talking about this show, uh, it, it resurfaces a lot of fears of, of uh, nuclear power, and in my opinion, it, nuclear power for me has always been something I haven't felt very good about, because I know, you know, growing up I've been very cognizant of the fact that Chernobyl happened and the impact of Chernobyl, so I have always kind of thought that, you know, humans are very much fallible, and... Um, just one little slip up could mean some really terrible things. So I would just rather stay away from that one. You know, it's kind of like p how people kind of feel about, you know, getting into cloning. Like as a, as a human species, our science has gotten to a point where we could, we could make that happen. But a lot of people are like, yeah, you know, I just, I just don't really think we should go there. And for me, like nuclear power is something that, you know, I just really don't think we should go there. Maybe part of that's just because I don't have a whole lot of trust in people. That's just me personally. I'm just, I'm just not that type of person. I mean, one-on-one -on -one basis, I know a lot of people, like when I get to know people, you know, I have a lot of trust, but I also feel like there are a lot of idiots out there. And um, by and large, I'm not a people person. I am an individual's person. I like individual people. I hate people as a whole. And it goes back to my, my grandfather actually has a wonderful quote uh, that I heard all the time growing up, and that is, most people aren't much. So I kind of live by that mantra a little bit. 
sorry, this is a big downer, but it, it, it actually fits very well for this Chernobyl series because it is an insane downer. And that goes to, there are a lot of hard things to watch in this, especially because, like I was saying, like you know that this is based in reality. You know that there are people who went through this stuff. And when you're seeing the horror, when you're seeing the gore, when you're seeing the practical effects of the terrible things that came out of it, you just think, like, that happened. You know, and like I said, you know, maybe some of it's exaggerated, but some of it may be very accurate. And with a lot of these shows, they, especially with... Um, effects of something that actually happens in real life they try to get their practical effects to mirror what that actually would look like in real life so i assume they probably would have done the same thing with this but um this show looks amazing like i said the acting is so good uh the score is handled really well um the pacing is really good with it it looks really awesome and it's very tense the other thing is the scripts are so well written because it's very tense kind of the whole time um, and you just kind of like feel the environment of like, this is terrible dread and tension and awfulness pretty much the whole time. Uh, but there's a lot of really good breakdown of a bunch of the technical terms of what was going on. And so I think the scriptwriter did an amazing job with that in giving people the opportunity to actually follow along and understand what, what happened while it's being explained by scientists in the show. So, um, Yeah. So it's, yeah. I mean, there's really not a whole lot more I can say about this show, but I highly recommend it. I think it's very well done. Um, really liked it. The only thing is, I think maybe it should have, this is a rare occur, occurrence where I'm going to say maybe it should have been more episodes. Maybe we should have got a little bit more into some of the uh, people's a lot, other people's lives who were affected by this. It kind of mainly focuses on the people involved in the cleanup and trying to figure out uh, get to the bottom of things, but to, but seeing the impact of people who are your everyday citizen would be a, a really cool thing to have. So maybe like one more episode, maybe make it six episodes, maybe seven, I don't know, not go crazy. Usually I'm advocating for cutting back, but in this case I think they had so much material they could have done one or two more episodes. But um, regardless, it's a very good show. I would definitely recommend it. Out of five stars with Habs in play, I would say four stars. It's a four-star show. It's very good. And like I said, if people have seen this, or if you do see it and you really like Jared Harris's performance, who's the main guy, definitely check out The Terror, which is available at the moment on Hulu, and it originally was on AMC, so it also might be on demand if you have AMC. So anyway, thank you, everyone, for checking this out. And until next time, keep it brutal.